Hi everyone, it is September 14, 2019, April 2019, in Spain. April 2019, Spain. So in April of 2019, Spain, many areas of Spain were hit with torrential downpours causing very damaging flash flooding as well as hail. July 2019, Spain. Welcome guys to what's happening in the world today. Wow, it's unbelievable. It's just crazy. I don't want to say it's shocking, but this is just crazy. As you can see, the flute carried cars. Look at this. Wow. Just crazy and dangerous. Please don't forget to subscribe after watching this video. Ya está, tomar por culo la valla, yo creo, ¿no? Y si la ha saltado, mira, mira, ve. Cuidado, todos dos. Nos quedamos sin puente, ¿eh? ¿Y aquí? Bestialidad. July 
cuestión de minutos empezó a crecer el río y bueno, no, no nos dio tiempo ni de nada, ni de sacar nada, nada de nada. Tremendous amount of work these weather wars cause people. Yes, weather is being used as a weapon. All right. So, let's see. Where are we now? August. Spain is being battered by wild weather with flash flooding, hail storms, and even tornadoes hitting holiday hotspots. Cars were swept away as water gushed down the streets in Madrid and Ibiza. Tornadoes have ripped through Mayaga at one stage taking out an electricity pylon and causing a huge flash of fly fire. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not what you want when you're in holidays and particularly bad for the locals too. Yes. Spain. Bad for everyone. August. <laughs> Frightening to think that the majority of the world's people are just going along with believing that this is Mother Nature, an act of God, climate change. They're not questioning what's happening here. Okay, how about September? Within the last couple of days, Spain. Spain's acting Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez visited Spain's flooded regions on Saturday to express his support and solidarity. Large parts of Valencia, Murcia and eastern Andalusia have been inundated by two days of torrential rain. Sánchez spoke from Orihuela, one of the worst affected cities. The Spanish government is not going to spare any kind of material or human resource to provide a response to this civil protection crisis. Government delegates are in contact with different regional and local authorities to start assessing the damages caused by the flooding in different municipalities and in the agricultural sector. So far, six people have died due to the flooding. Houses have been damaged, cars ruined and agricultural fields destroyed. The weather is expected to improve over the following days and the cleanup operations are already in place. Okay. April, July, August, September. How much do you think people can take? September. Madre mía.
You know, whether we speak one's language or not, we are all in this together, and we are all being destroyed together. Spain. <laughs> of course, September. <laughs> Señora, aguántame el móvil. We've seen this over and over and over again. Only getting worse. Only getting worse throughout the years. And now it's not just Western countries. It's going on in India, Asia, China. Uh, they are killing people, killing all life, flooding whole towns and cities over and over and over again. Okay. Yep. Here's an aerial shot of what took place in the last two days in Spain. Again. You try to tell people if this was global warming, which ceased, and there is scientific evidence to show that it has ceased, uh, and well, it had no warming for what? About 18 years. Okay. Well, um, now it's climate change. This would come about incrementally. It would not be happening in the same places over and over and over again. So you have to think, what else could it be? Hey, there is plenty of evidence that man is controlling the weather, bringing about this devastation. What do you think these rich, you know, uh, uh, richer than God people are well and healthy and want everybody to just be happy to not worry and just be happy no they are sick twisted and yeah satanic you know how why is it so hard to believe that if people believe in God and Jesus why wouldn't people believe also in uh, Satan Lucifer why would it why is it so hard to believe that people actually bow down you know to their god satan and and practice you know satanism i it's not a leap 
you know, we have extremes in the world. And unfortunately, it is true, you know, good people get destroyed and evil people succeed. <laughs> evil people can live a really luxurious life. This is being brought about deliberately. This is not a result of that climate change bullshit, libtard, crazy people. I said it, libtard. Hey guys, I said libtard. Lib Dems set out radical agenda for tackling climate emergency six hours ago, but that was six hours ago last night. No, it was six hours ago today. That's right. Now is the time to take urgent action to protect our planet. We're committed to stopping the devastating effects of climate change. And guess what? Those devastating effects are coming from man doing it deliberately. Hey, once again, exploiting the young Ah, great. It doesn't play. Ah, we. We are the younger generation. We are the ones who are going to be affected, and therefore we demand justice. Everyone, justice. Everyone, everyone should mobilize for the 20th and the 20th of September because this is a global issue which actually affects everyone. We're all in the same boat, so everyone should be concerned about this. Me movilizo porque somos un movimiento mundial. I'm striking because if we don't fight for our future now, soon we won't have a future left to fight for. Je soutiens aussi la grève des enfants pour que les décideurs du climat puissent appuyer pour que la venue soit radio pour nous tous. And we stand with the youth who are taking a stance today and raising up their voice to be able to have real impact. I'm joining the strikes because it means time to resist and to take charge of the future that belongs to us, not to the fossil fuel companies. We stand with Greta and all those fighting for our future. We need you to be a part of it because... Oh God, I can't even look at this guy's face. He makes me sick, Bill McGibbon. Okay, uh, yeah. The lies continue. They have taken hold, they have taken root in the younger generation who are being taught in school that global warming and climate change is real and this guy is such a disgusting prick. Oh my God. I can't stand him, you know, and just another fabulous liar for the Rockefellers. I've shown this interview that he gave on, and I've got to pull it up again. I have to pull it up again. Hang on, guys. Here it is. The audio is a bit scratchy, but, you know, in this interview, he was asked, so, Bill... Where do you get your funding from 350.org? Because Bill claims that he gets his funding from all of the people around the world donating $5. Really, Bill? Really. It's been working very hard to get uh, towards zero emissions. That's the goal. Good. That's great. That's, That's great, great to hear. hear. And how is 350.org funded? Uh, well, not really well. <laughs> Who are your funders? 
to the degree that we have any money at all has come from a few foundations in the U.S. To the degree that we have any money at all, how dare he? Okay, I'm sorry, guys, but these are the people that really just, uh, they are a danger to humanity. These lies that they so comfortably speak, and it's not just, you know, these people who are working in the global warming climate change. It's all agendas, and it's not just government officials and mainstream media reporters. It's just ordinary people who can lie no problem whatsoever. They are our enemy. They're the danger. I can't stand it. Uh, let's see. The, uh, I'm trying to think who the biggest uh, funders are. Uh, uh, there's a foundation in uh, based in Sweden uh, called, I think it's called the Last Museum Foundation, uh, that I think has been the biggest funder. So you don't get money from Pew or Rockefeller or any of those big... No, we didn't. Rockefeller Brothers Fund gave us some money right when we were starting out. That's been useful, too. But they no longer fund you? Uh, I don't know. I don't have that, I don't have that sort of... Really? Thunder sitting in front of me. Uh, well, but this is something that people know. Rockefeller has been one of our, uh, is, is one of, is a great ally in this way. Okay, uh, you recently wrote an article. I don't know who my biggest funders are. I don't know who my biggest funders are. A lying sack of immoral shit. Sorry for the cursing, but you know what? I can't stand that these people get away with it. I cannot stand that they get away with it. Okay, well, Bill and all of you, you know, the young ones who are uh, wanting to fight for climate change, you guys who are young, you better do the research because you are being duped into a lie. And guess what? Your lives will, every aspect of your life will be controlled by others like, uh, well, Billy here is just the useful idiot, but it will be controlled by all of the corporate elite, all of the elite psychopaths do you really want that for your future? God. So why don't all of you just start, just start eating your dead relatives. How about that? Professor advocates for cannibalism to fight climate change. If you're concerned about the human impact on Earth's climate you could plant a tree, install solar panels, ride a bike, or eat your dead relatives. At a summit in Sweden about the future of food, a professor gave two presentations about how eating human flesh could combat the negative effects of climate change. Yeah, claims resistance to cannibalism is conservative. You liberal, crazy people. A and it's even selfish. It's conservative. And it's selfish. The human meat industry will have to start slowing down. First, getting people used to the idea of eating pets and insects, but eventually humans can be tricked into making the right decision. Guess what? Tricked is the operative word here. Tricked. Human body composting services emerging in Washington state as an alternative to bury, burying and cream, cremating the dead. Yeah, silent green. We're, we're probably eating humans as it is. Hell, dogs and cats are eating dogs and cats. You know, those dogs that supposedly get cremated when you put them down in the vet's office. The vet then sells them for food. 
for the pets who are still alive. Yeah, Bill Gates and other powerful elite scientists are set to try their first, first experiment in geoengineering. Oh, okay. I don't know if Sovereign Man believes that it's the first, uh, but there's nothing in there that, uh, well, has convinced me that he doesn't think it's the first. And have you not looked up at the sky? Lately, yeah, Bill Gates and other scientists, they want to put small scale spewing chemicals into the atmosphere in order to mimic a volcanic eruption. Like they haven't been doing it for decades, only increasing amounts spewed each year. If they deem the experiment a success, it could replicate around the globe. It's not going on around the globe. I said yesterday, every day is Friday the 13th, and I, I am, I stand by that. Of course, volcanoes can cause famine, drought, eliminate blue skies, but those are the risks this enlightened group of elites is willing to take without anyone else's consent. And Oregon, I can't believe it. This, uh, yeah, there's a lot, you know, we, we, I don't think there's any one human being out there that I agree 100% with, but a group of labor unions is collecting signatures in Oregon for a 2020 statewide ballot initiative to prohibit grocery stores from having more than two self-checkout lanes. Self-service lanes are cutting jobs, hard for the elderly, and handicapped to operate. Self-checkout is also causing social isolation, they say, because we all know how important those social interactions like paper or plastic are. Well, I'm sorry. If you can't engage in conversation with people who are willing to also engage in conversation beyond paper or plastic, then maybe you should work on talking to your fellow human beings. But it does create social isolation, and it is hard for the elderly. But is this the proper way to do it? Forcing people, forcing on either side, that's not going to accomplish anything. The forcing, you've got to do this. You would hope that the individuals who own these stores would recognize, hey, we're cutting jobs and human beings need jobs. So why don't we limit? Why don't we self, you know, put, put, put in those self limitations, put in, do what's right. How about do what's right? Hey, what an idea. Well, who is this guy? He is the chief, the head, the secretary, secretary general of the World Meteorological Organization. And what has he said? What he has said. Well, it's an unprecedented rebuke to climate alarmists. In an interview published by a Finnish magazine, September 6, he called for calm and rational approach to the climate debate and disagreed with those who are promoting end of the world scenarios. How dare you, Bill and Alexandria or Casio Cortez, claim that the world is going to end in 12 years. How dare you do this to the young generation? You are psychopaths and clearly do not care at all about that fear that you are injecting. Now, if you're injecting fear into adults, then those adults have to work on themselves. But the young who hear you claiming the world is coming to an end. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We all have a responsibility in this world to do what's right. To do what's right. He said that while skepticism of the human activity theory, theory has abated in recent years, climate scientists are under increasing assault 
from radical climate extremists, while climate skepticism has become less of an issue, now we are being challenged from the other side. Climate experts have been attacked by those people, and they claim that we should be much more radical. They are doomsters and extremists. They make threats. The latest idea is that children are a negative thing. I am worried for young mothers who are already under much pressure. This will only add to their burden. He gave limited examples to the climate debate, to Finland. Some of the extremism he references is akin to the rhetoric employed by climate alarmists in the United States, Democratic Socialist Alexandria, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. The face of the movement. This woman, okay, um, she didn't write the Green New Deal. She knows nothing about um, economics. She spews the, uh, you know, the points that those behind her want her to. She's the mouthpiece. That's it. She's the mouthpiece for the United Nations spewing this crap, the lies. Regularly promotes the theory that the world will end in 12 years unless the United States takes radical action to eliminate carbon dioxide emissions. Wants to get rid of planes and cars and tax you up the wazoo. Greenpeace co-founder Patrick Moore called Talis's remarks, th that's the head of the World Meteorological uh, Organization, the biggest crack in the alarmist narrative for a long time. The meteorologists are real scientists and probably fed up with Greta, who got this going. Yeah. Um, and Man Gore, AOC, Good on him. So Greta Thunberg, a 16-year-old Swedish student, Al Gore, we all know, Michael Mann, Michael Mann, the hockey stick lying shit, who Amy Goodman of Democracy Now! continues to interview. Yet it, what's remarkable is that these lying sacks of crap are found out, are exposed, but they continue to be interviewed by the likes of Amy Goodman, mainstream media, all promoting the IPCC lie. Climate extremists are selectively picking out facts from the IPCC. That's what Tala said, the, world, the, head, the Secretary General of the World Meteorological Association or organization, is he not worthy to listen to? What is remarkable is that people now just go with their belief and they'll shoot down someone who, well, I think he's qualified to speak on this. Um, they, they, they won't listen to him. They'll think he's a crazy nut job because they've been so programmed brainwashed. They've stopped thinking for themselves and they allow mainstream media to think for them. They allow people like Ocasio-Cortez to speak. This woman who came out of nowhere, a bartender, a waitress, suddenly is now, wow, does she get an awful lot of press attention? Don't you think that's a little staged? Don't you think somebody is behind that? It's crazy making this world, absolutely crazy making. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, I'll say it again. I come from a severe narcissistic family. I had to live and still living, you know, the, the consequences of all of the outrageous lies, the gaslighting, uh, the, you know, it's, and then living the consequences of those they tell their lie to and they believe it, and it's, it's crazy-making. Well, I 
had hoped that I could, you know, maybe come out of that. And, oh. and now it's 24 seven coming from every corner. <laughs> it's, it, it's an explosion of the lying and the gaslighting and all of, all of these fabulous psychopathic narcissistic traits that are hitting us from every which way. And it is crazy making. These people are crazy making. Yeah. That 12 year timeline that Ocasio keeps repeating was selectively plucked from a range of 12 to 44 years in the IPCC special report. Global warming is likely to reach 1.5 uh, degrees Celsius between 2030 and 2052. And if it continues to increase at the current, if, 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 and it's not just 12, it was 44 years. Oh, but she's saying 12 definitively, and it is going to increase. The IPCC reports have been read in a similar way to the Bible. You try to find certain pieces or sections from which you try to justify your extreme views. This resembles religious extremism, is what Talis said. The vast majority of the climate models the IPCC uses as the basis for its predictions have repeatedly incorrectly forecast high temperatures. According to an analysis by the Cato Institute, 105 of the 108 models predicted a higher surface temperature for the period between 1998 and 2014 than the temperature actually recorded. All of their predictions that they have been you know, screaming for decades have not come true. Uh, every report that the IPCC publishes is shot down by the real scientists and but no that it carries the day it carries the day how does it carry the day because the majority of the world's people are crazy people and they have no problem with all of these lies and uh they're we've got to work on ourselves we've got to pick ourselves up off the low road we've got to do it because you now that these people are carrying the day, it really, truly makes me sick. Let me know what you feel about what's going on. It, it's, uh, it's not something that I will ever adapt to, and it's not something that I will ever just, hmm, oh well, be indifferent or not care about. That's just not in my nature.